What's up guys, it's Douglas. It's cool to see that you guys are liking the uh, planche 5 tip video that I did. It's currently my most viewed uh, video on YouTube and it's cool to see you guys feedback. This week I got a feedback asking me to do a front lever uh, 5 tip video. So if some of you guys are coming from that planche 5 tip video you're gonna notice that some of the tips in this one is actually quite similar. Why is that? Well, because retracting or protracting the scapula is a key element in mastering bodyweight movements. And also keeping straight arms in straight arm movements, such as the full planche front lever or back lever, is all similar and that's why it's appearing constantly. So this first tip is something that I've been talking about before. It's about the scapula retraction. What do I mean? Well, the scapula, which is up here, when you're hanging in this position here, you want to be facing this, but you want to be pulling yourself back. Your shoulders are going to go back and then pushing down. So what is this going to happen is your, your back is going to like pull you up and lift you up into that front lever position. So I can show you on the bar here how it looks and how it's performed. So pay attention to my upper back and how my scapula is working to activate my upper body. If I were to do this front lever without activating there, it would look something like this. See, I'm not able to get up there because I'm not activating my entire upper body and back. So I'm just relying on the strength in my shoulders and arms, but that's not enough to keep me upright. The second tip is actually something that I think most people are forgetting about and it's actually one of the most underrated things you can do. So when you're in this hanging position and you're going up from this position here pulling yourself up into the front lever what most people forget about is actually squeezing the butt or here hanging I pull myself up but I just don't pull myself up like this and keep like super straight what I do is I squeeze the butt pushing my hip forward <laughs> And now activating the butt and as I'm doing that I'm pulling my legs out because I get more strength in doing that when I'm activating my lower body and the core which connects my entire body all right so the third tip we're gonna go through is what about flexing or pointing your toes versus not doing that. You don't want to keep being weak in this link here, you want to keep strong, okay? So the first time I'm going to demonstrate this by not flexing or pointing my toes, just letting them hang like my hands, okay? The next one, I'm going to point or flex my toes to show you the difference. So the fourth tip is should I do statics or should I do reps? Which one is the best and why? So when it comes to this, I say you should do the statics but also do the reps. Why? Because this is a static movement. You're gonna hold it for a long period of time, just like the planche. You're gonna want to hold the first progression, which is the tucked front lever, for about 10 to 15 or 30 seconds if you can, and then progress into the next exercise, which is the advanced tucked front lever. But you're also gonna want to do pull-ups, which is very good. Tucked front lever pull-ups also to build that strength. Shin-ups, and you can do muscle-ups and dips and planche lean push-ups to strengthen your upper body. So combining the reps with the statics is actually very good because then you're gonna develop this ability to both pull yourself up 
into that front lever hold, but you're also going to be able to maintain the hold. This might seem obvious to some people, but if you do this correctly and you progress all the time and you keep progressing over time, you're going to be able to hold both a normal front lever, but you're also going to be able to progress into holding and doing front lever pull-ups, which is like the next level when it comes to pull-ups and weighted pull-ups. So you're getting into that heavy back workout when you can do front lever pull-ups, which actually is a great movement to be doing. Getting into the fifth tip of the day, the best way that I think you can work for the front lever, except just holding it, is doing front lever raises. So the front lever raise is actually hanging normally from the bar, pulling yourself up with the first tip that I was doing, activating your scapula into that tucked front lever hold, holding it for like five seconds and then dropping down slowly, repeating that for about 10 reps through three to four sets. That's a perfect way to work on the front lever. And as you progress, you're gonna be able to do tucked front lever, advanced tucked front lever, one leg front lever, straddle front lever, and finally the normal front lever. So this is exercise that's gonna benefit you a lot, and I suggest you do it about two to three times a week in your back or full body workouts. You're gonna benefit a lot from this. So if you guys try these exercises out, Please comment below and tell me how you like them. And if you got a request for another 5 tips video, comment below also and I'll make sure to check it out and maybe I'll do it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.